There are some things we can do. We do have the uh, uh, an amendment called Amendment uh, 4720. It's by our leader, by uh, Senator McConnell, and by Senator Domenici. Uh, what this does is look at the. Uh, it's an. It actually was a bill. It was going to be the Domestic Energy Production Act of 2008, but we're offering it now as an amendment. And what this would do would be to handle a lot of the problems. First of all, if we had all the production out there that we needed to take care of America's needs. We still couldn't do anything because we don't have the refining capacity. Uh, uh, two years ago, I introduced the Gas Price Act. I couldn't believe that it went down right on party lines. The Democrats flat don't want to increase our refining capacity. And this happened in the Environment Public Works Committee. The, it was actually a pretty, pretty uh, smart uh, approach to it. We were taking a lot of the closed bases and uh, using them and allowing EDA grants to take place so that adjoining communities could turn those into, uh, into refineries. It was, and also streamlining the process and, and, and all that. Well, it went down in, in, uh, right down party lines. So this, this amendment that we're going to be talking about is one that will do something about the refining capacity. The one we, are in, we introduced, the amendment, uh, streamlines the permitting pro process so that there be a maximum on any new refinery of 360 days on a new refinery or an expansion of 180 days. We have not increased our refining capacity. We have not had a new refinery in this country in 30 years. Now, all the other countries are doing it. China's doing it. Mexico's doing it. But we're not doing it. So that's the first thing we need to do is to, is to increase our refining capacity. And then secondly, now everybody hold on because this is something I know is very foreign to our thinking nowadays. It's an old concept. It's called supply and demand. We have a lot of demand for, for gas out there right now. We know that. We know that when we go to the pumps. The problem is in, in the supply. And I hate to say this right now in party lines, this is a chance. I'm kind of excited that the public now has the attention uh, uh, of the high prices and realize that we really are going to have to do something besides just these gimmicks that the assistant uh, uh, majority leader talked about. That would be to increase our drilling capacity. We could do it on ANWR. People talk about up there the... The fact that this pristine wilderness, first of all, I challenge anyone to go up and look at this. This area is not a pristine wilderness, but the main thing is, if you take that little area that we've been, where the huge reserves are, we've been trying to do something with, and it's, it, it compares as a postage stamp does to a football field. It's such a small amount. All of the natives there want it. All of the, the, uh, the Alaskans uh, want it. It's their land. And that would be the first thing that we should do to increase our capacity. Now, we tried this. We passed this uh, 10 years ago. And uh, then President uh, Bill Clinton uh, uh, vetoed it. Now, if he hadn't vetoed it, we would be, that would be flowing today. And all the people who are complaining about that are the same ones that complained about the Alaskan pipeline. They said it's going to kill all the caribou. You go up there now during the summer months, and you can see that they're, they have increased their, 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 the, the number of caribou up there, primarily because in some parts of Alaska, the only shade they can find is the Alaskan pipeline. And they're all lined up there. So it's, it's just not a problem.